Okay, I've been obsessed with a picture that makeup artist Mary Phillips posted on her Instagram account of a look she did on Hailey Bieber. It's just, it's the perfect kind of me look. Soft glam, natural, bronzy skin, pop of a pink cheek, mauve rosy nude lip, and then this kind of skinny little smudgy black wing. She just looks so effortlessly cool while still being like quite a bit made up. So I wanted to do that today to the best of my abilities. I'm no Hailey Bieber and I'm no Mary Phillips. I'm like a poor man's Jennifer Lawrence at best. And even that's being pretty generous. First, I wanted to tell you that my Sephora order came. I got the Dyson, very excited about it. I did get some comments from people saying like, you really shouldn't spend that much money on that hair dryer. Like my, my hairdresser says don't spend that money. Listen. This is what I was working with. Do you, do you see this? The attachments are gone. Do you see this? How many of you just puked in your mouth? I wanna know. This is, this is not good. So let me tell you, when I've had a hairdryer for like 20 years, I can buy the fucking Dyson without judgment, okay people? Last little housekeeping note before we move on. Um, if it looks like I've been crying, it's because I have a chemical burn under my eyes from the new Dior Backstage Concealer. Spoiler alert, I'll, I'll apply it in a video probably like next week or something like that. Um, but this is incredibly fragranced, so I did just wanna pop on here and tell you about it because a lot of you also have very sensitive skin like I have. This is so perfumed that when I applied this, I could still smell the fragrance just when I was wearing makeup. Like w without even the applicator or the bottle open, I could still smell the concealer on my face. About an hour later, it started burning under my eyes. I kept it on, I thought, oh, maybe it'll go away. It only got worse and worse. Um, and now 24 hours later, my entire eye area is like red and it feels like a sunburn. So if you have sensitive skin, avoid the backstage concealer. If you don't, this is one of the best concealers I've ever tried and I am devastated. This is what we're trying to recreate and instead of doing this, I should just pull up a damn image already. When she does the kind of half up hair, she just looks like effortlessly cool. When I do it, I look like Little Bo Peep. So it is what it is. I'm just using my very old and almost empty um, Makeup Forever Invisible Cover foundation that has been reformulated and the new formula is fantastic but has fragrance and it broke me out and caused a rash. What else is new? Um, but I still have to use up my old bottles of foundation. So this one is just ever so slightly like a hair warmer and a hair more, like a, like a hair darker than my actual skin tone. Their old shade R220 is my absolute perfect match in every way. It was like quite light and pink. And even though I've had a bunch of people on my YouTube channel tell me that I actually have neutral undertones, I'm just like, listen people, then riddle me this, why do pink concealers and foundations always look better on me? Those are the ones that actually match my face. But either way, I went with a slightly warmer and slightly darker foundation today because Haley ba Biber, <laughs> Haley Bieber has quite tan skin. And again, you know, I have limited makeup skills and I have a completely different face, different complexion. Everything in general is different than Hailey Bieber. So it's a loose interpretation. Moment of silence for how beautiful this discontinued foundation is. So the only under eye concealer I have per use, uh, Fit Glow C2.5. And I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit. Hailey Bieber did not have like very bright under eyes. It just looked very, very natural. It just looked like she had, you know, a lot of bronzer and then a bright pink cheek. Next up, I'm taking from my Sephora order, the Makeup by Mario bronzer, the Soft Sculpt bronzer in light. And I've never used this before, so I'm just gonna do a little tap tap. The shade looks really nice and light for me, so. Yeah, okay, I can go in a little bit harder with that. Oh, there we go. You know what, actually, I like that it's sheer. I love that I don't have to worry about overdoing it. Barely there. That's nice. That is without a doubt the lightest bronzer shade I've ever used and I appreciate that. I've seen lighter. <laughs> Get out of here, doofus! Wow, that Makeup by Mario bronzer. So I'm looking at the picture of Hailey Bieber and her blush is actually on the apples of the cheeks. And then she has quite a strong, like light, 
silvery kind of highlighter. So I'm gonna take the Persona Bubble Blush and I'm now um, a Persona affiliate. So if you want 10% off of Persona Cosmetics, you can use the code Kate10. And if you make a purchase with my affiliate link um, in the description box below, I'll get a little kickback. So I'm gonna use my Eco Tools 360 face brush because it just gives me a lot of control. And I guess I'm just gonna go in on the apples of the cheeks really lightly. Any kind of powder product, I just kind of lightly start, I mean, I know you're not supposed to buff because that can make things look patchy. I'm trying to actually pay attention when I watch like makeup artists do makeup and all of them always just do a tapping motion. So I'm trying to remember that. That's a great color for what they were doing. I wouldn't be surprised if they used your backstage in Rosy Glow because I think Mary Phillips also does Kylie and Kendall Jenner and I think she might have been the one who actually made the Dior blush go viral, I'm not sure. I just remember hearing that like Kylie Jenner's makeup artist made it go viral, so maybe it was Dior. I'm gonna add a little to the touch of my nose just to kind of bring it in together. Makes it look kind of like sunburnt. And then tapping on the other side. I always overdo blush in the beginning because I find that my face really eats blush. And so by the end, if it still looks quite like a bold, blush color, I'll take it down a little bit with you know my foundation brush. But honestly, her blush was quite bold in the picture, so I think we're good there. Now I'm gonna take my beloved uh, L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Brunette. Truly my OG brow product, like I don't really need anything else. The way I see it, if brands want to send me eyebrow products to review for followers and review for content, I'm totally happy to do that. But I will never spend more than just a couple dollars on an eyebrow product because I have this, my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer and my e.l.f. Wow Brow, you know? So it's like if I get it in PR, I can give it a positive review if I like it. But realistically, I just don't spend the money on brows. And Haley's brows are brushed up and they're quite like arched. So I'm gonna exaggerate this. Not that I know, oops, that was wrong. Not that I know what I'm doing here, but I just felt like I could kind of give it a little bump. Like it looks a little higher than this one. So I feel like that's a little more Haley Bieber. Now I just wanna be like, did I do it? Okay, so again, I'm just trying to like build up an arch here that doesn't actually exist. And then I'm gonna brush it out. Okay, brows are done. Now I'm taking the Beauty Pie Luminizing Wand and I think it's in the shade Champagne. And I'm just gonna dot a little bit there. As you can see, it's very, very bright. This is exactly the same shade that Hailey Bieber had on. So this is Perfect. Does she have highlighter anywhere else on her face? Looks like brow bone, tip of the nose. But this highlighter is so intense, you like really don't wanna to touch it too much or you'll look kinda of crazy. Then just here. Haley has some kind of medium, kind of neutral to slightly warm brown in her crease. So I'm gonna take the middle shade from the M Cosmetics Divine Skies palette in Da Vinci, and I'm gonna put it in my crease and all over the lid. She definitely has some kind of just like all over the eye wash of brown. And I'm applying it with one brush and blending with this Morphe brush. It's the Morphe M433. It's just like really fluffy. It's almost like a stipple brush for the eyes. So it really shears thing out, shears eyeshadows out. It like does the work for you. On the lid, again, she like barely has any shadow on. It just is like this subtle darkness. And you know, I'll blend that out so it'll look more like Haley's. And then I always just take my eyeshadow out a little bit and then kind of connect it there. And then I'll kind of blend it so you can't even really see the shadow line anymore. Something else that's kind of annoying though is in person, if I like nail the makeup in person, which I thought I did the other day, then I take pictures of it and like the makeup just does not show up. So it's really frustrating. It looks like you've overdone it in person and then on camera, it looks like you're not even wearing makeup. So I'm gonna overdo it a little bit right now so that the pictures look a little more accurate. And then I'm just gonna do that on the other side. Now it looks like she has just like the tiniest amount of that brown shadow underneath 
on her lower lash line. So I'm just gonna do it on the outer portion of the eye. I'm not gonna take it as far in as I usually do. I love that that just makes the eyes look smokier and bigger without closing them. Like, I never put a liner on my lower waterline, but right here, a little powder shadow just looks so nice. Real quick, I just wanna see what Venetian Rose from M Cosmetics look, looks like for the lip. It might be too warm. Actually, that's pretty good. Maybe, sorry, I got this like crusty. There's nothing I can do about it. But maybe something a little more cool toned. Hailey Bieber's liner is not like a gel. It's not a liquid. It looks like a powder that might not even be black. I think that this matte from M Cosmetics is perfect, but I wanna use a gel liner um, just as like a little guideline. Oof, none of that went well. I just burped and said the wrong word. I'm just gonna use it as a little bit of a guideline. It really also only looks like the outer portion of her eye. That's what I did wrong when I tried to recreate this the other day. I did like half eye out. She really probably doesn't even have any liner on. She does have false lashes. So it's just like truly the wing. It's so curved. It's, it's like swoop rather than mine are straight. Comes down and then out. Whatever. I'm not gonna be too crazy about trying to recreate the liner shape because I have slightly hooded eyes and there's really just not much I can do. So I feel like, oops. So I'm gonna take a Q-tip and then it'll give me like a point. A little more though. This should have been sharper. Make that sharper. And pull it up a little. Yeah, I mean, it's not right, <laughs> but I tried. So I have slightly hooded eyes and this one is more deep set. So the fold of this eye goes down and I have to like put my liner over the crease. This one's not as tricky, but <sighs> pray for me on my right eye. See how it's, I gotta skip over that line. That's what happens when you have hooded eyes. Just gonna use that as a little, whoops. I can clean it up. That's why I like the Victoria Beckham pencils. They're like really smudgeable. Yeah, that's close. I mean, close enough. I live in the country. Ain't nobody here judging my wings. We're almost there. Like it has the length and a little of the downward swoop. I actually think I did this one better than this one, but also I don't really care. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury powder in Fair with my uh, Say powder brush and just tap that where I'm appearing shiny on camera. We're getting there, we're getting there. Um, curling my eyelashes with the Shiseido eyelash curler, my fave. It looks like Haley does have some kind of chocolate brown liner on her upper water line. Also, I am just already digging the fact that there's just a wing and nothing on the lid. I totally need to start doing my makeup like that because I've always, always done liner on the lid and then the wing, but because of my my slightly hooded eyes, I have less lid space. So now, wow, it really makes a difference when you don't put any liner on the lid. Thank you, Mary Phillips, for this realization. Okay, so you know I was looking for a brown liner that was affordable, budge-proof. Um, I did wanna try out the new NYX one since my beloved NYX slide on, glide on, always on, something, something, whatever, longest name ever on liner was discontinued. Now they have the Epic Wear line. This is in the shade Deepest Brown. It's super glidey, just like the other one. And I'm just gonna take this and barely touch in between my lashes. And I actually got this on Amazon, but you can get it at Ulta. To finish off the eyes, I'm taking my Thrive Liquid Lash Extension Mascara. I just love this one so much. As much as I've also loved, you know, the Maybelline uh, Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara in Washable Black or the L'Oreal Age Perfect Washable, shit, what was it called? I forget, Age Perfect something. You know, nothing really does it for me quite like my Thrive. Yeah, most, most pretty good. Most pretty good. Now, Haley definitely had some kind of false lashes on. Looked like, like a half set, just like a wing set. It was very natural. But I can't even be bothered to do that for a YouTube video. So we're just gonna 
stick with this. Okay, I wiped off the lip because looking at the picture, it does look like she has some kind of like nude brown liner on and then like a rosy mauve lipstick. And her lips are very much overlined, you can see on the top and the bottom. So I'm taking my favorite nude liner, Citizen Cosmetics De, and just going down like her lip looks. Down and then over, soften my cupid toe, like that, yeah, her, her wrist goes like that. We are quiet because we are basically doing heart surgery right here. Mm, I love this liner. It's so creamy. And then it sets. I'm, I promise you this is the best lip liner formula you'll ever try. Citizen Cosmetics. I don't tell people that they need to buy anything because it's just beauty. You don't need it. But if you want a lip liner, <sighs> Citizen Cosmetics, man. Look how easy it is to overline how creamy it just blends, but then it sets. Oh, best formula ever. To top everything off, I'm gonna take my Rowan Liquid Lip Balm in Charlie, which is the perfect lip color. I just don't have that in a lipstick, and I'm just gonna like, she had a little bit of shine, it wasn't matte, but it wasn't a gloss. Touch more powder here, and one more thing. So Haley's hair is this half up, half down look but it's kind of only like the front pieces of her hair pulled up. I'm god awful at hair, but I'm just gonna take these like side pieces, brush through real quick, and then like swoop them up. When I do it, I look like I'm in a stage production of Oklahoma. It's just, it is what it is. I like pull this down a little. Last touch. Okay, so if I do this, like. No, but it's the best I can do. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this recreation. I did my best, even though it's not perfect. I think it looks beautiful and I'm really excited about how it came out. I think uh, I could definitely get the, the wing shape a little bit better if I had more skills and I think I could perfect the lip. What in the world? Anyways, I think I could perfect the lip color a little bit too, but I think that like comically overlining my lips and winging the wing out more than I normally would really did help. But this is like the best I can do with my limited skills and bone structure. So thank you for watching. If there are any other makeup looks you think it would be fun to watch me struggle to create, let me know. Send me any Instagram posts in the comment section below. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.